I was busy with uh, all kinds of oscillators and especially searching for an oscillator in the 12 up to 20 MHz band. But I found when I um, did a lot of experiments that this uh, G310 field effect transistor is an extreme good oscillator. And um, I found, uh, for instance, that even without coil, so the in the tank circuit, uh, there's no coil, there's only a tuning capacitor and approximately 20 centimeters of wire that's here. And even though this uh, field effect transistor oscillator worked properly. You see the waveform. So no coil, but of course in terms of radio technology there's always a coil because there is um, inductance here in the wiring and this small piece of wire here approximately 20 or 30 centimeters forms also a coil. So this is the coil and this is the tuning capacitor. And uh, the reason that I say that the G310 uh, is an extreme good oscillator uh, transistor is that the uh, capacitance is, is here very high and the inductance here from the coil is very low. But even when this is the case, the oscillator oscillates. So that's peculiar. And um, it confirms a little bit uh, that the G310 was specially made for oscillator circuits. And watch the preceding videos, for instance, uh, about the buffer circuit. That's important. And here you see the frequency that's generated now with only this small piece of wire. It's a 23.8 megahertz. And this is the waveform. So it's also a pure waveform quite pure and very good, good enough for radio applications because you always need a sine wave in a local oscillator in a super heterodyne radio. So this is a good waveform and um, you can uh, reach that waveform with a very small uh, coil. Uh, on the other hand, when you want to make this whole circuit here in real, this circuit, uh, on these high frequencies, um, the distances from the components and the wiring uh, play a role. That's also important to know. So now I've made it very sloppy here and I uh, have concluded that it works. But when you want to make it in real, make a neat box, mount the tuning capacitor very sturdy, uh, use for instance on high frequencies, let's say uh, 30 MHz, a small capacitor from 5 up to uh, 70 picofarad, and of course a small coil. When you compare it to this situation where even this coil will work, And when I uh, change, when I take my hand to the coil, you can see that the frequency changes. So all gets very critical on these high frequencies. Um, but um, I think this is an interesting circuit. 
for all people that like to do experiments on higher frequencies and especially with oscillators.